What up, people? My name's Andre, and behind me, we have my Get E46. Over here. So this car is actually a 2004 325i with 100,000 miles. So it has seen its fair share of stuff. We've been through a lot together and it shows. The arches are in the cleanest. It's got a huge ass dent. There's a fucking story behind that. Bumpers cracked, paint's coming off. I'm not even gonna talk about the trim. And oh baby, that's Romanian engineering at its finest. But this is the first car that I actually started wrenching on myself. The first car that I actually bought modifications for it. First car that I put blood, sweat, and literal fucking tears into this thing, okay? Now she may not be the cleanest, but it took a whole year and a lot of fucking money under the hood just to get it looking stock with some shitty wiring, but reliable. I changed the whole cooling system. I changed all the coils, spark plugs, valve cover gasket, a lot of maintenance. As you know, BMWs, the first thing you do when you buy one is spend all the money that you had on mods on fucking maintenance. <laughs> now this car does have some modifications at the moment. It's, it has BC racing coilovers. I've had cheaper coilovers before. John, blue lines, 200 quid. Best fucking 200 quid I ever spent, but these are quality. I really like these and they make the car ride really good. On the front, it has EBC dimpled and slotted rotors and yellow stuff pads. Same pads in the rear, but just stock rotors because this car mostly has a front bias from the factory. So no need to, to go baller on there. Now the whole rear end is fully poly bush. Rear trailing arms, differential bushings, subframe bushings, they're all polyurethane. And same with the front lower control arm bushings as well those are poly and uh they make the car feel really good now it is mostly stock other than that it's it's cosmetic angel eyes which fuck those i mean every fucking bmw has those there used to be a lip that got destroyed at a track day i need one of those again side skirt extensions bola b8r's staggered setup with michelin pilot sport force a csl trunk lid and a diffuser now at the moment the only modification I, I don't like that hood a lot <laughs> now at the moment she doesn't really have many power modifications the only thing that she has is an exhaust which is literally just a muffler delete <laughs> they sound amazing with a muffler delete and i don't regret it and she also has a remapped ecu from dg maps with an increased rev limiter and um of course it has to have a burble map because um we all racers here man e46 is the honda civic of bmws now the plan is pretty simple it's literally rip out all the stock shit put in custom go fast shit on it throw in a, a tune and just call it a day however there's going to be a lot more work than that i wish it was that easy next episode we're going to be swapping in a zf transmission with a performance clutch and lightweight flywheel for this to handle all that power because this is a 325 it came with a get track which we all know is fucking weak it will last probably 20 minutes on the boost and I'm not willing to do a clutch on a car that's going to have to have a new transmission anyways. The kit that I'm going to be using is made by Hopwood Motorsport from the UK. And he is a great, great dude. Great customer service. I cannot recommend him enough. Now, this was just a quick introduction to the project. However, next episode, like I said, clutch job, getting ready. We're going to start diving deep into this car. I cannot wait. It's been two and a half years since I wanted to do this with this car. And she's ready, man. All this time. Let's fucking go. Now, uh, this was just an introduction, so that means I'll see you in the next video, guys. Hopefully, next week, we'll tackle the transmission and the clutch. So, I'll see you later. Peace.